hallelujah. Somebody would you shout a hallelujah in the square? Come on, somebody, lift up your voice and declare a hallelujah. We give God the glory and the honor and the praise tonight. We have come to make his praise glorious. And we declare that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. That the righteous run into it and are safe. And so we preach Jesus in the city. We preach Jesus everywhere. For Jesus is worthy to be praised. Amen, somebody. Orangeville, we just want to say good night to you. It's so good to be in your space, in your homes, in your place. We thank you for accommodating us as we preach the gospel tonight. We thank you for allowing us to do ministry throughout the course of the day in this place. And even now, as we run worship tonight, it is our prayers that you will experience God in a way that will bring glory and honor to his name. Are you ready for worship, somebody? Are you ready for worship, somebody? If you are in your houses and you can hear us, you can come out, come worship with us, man. And even if you're in at the bar, come out, come worship with us, man. I believe that there is a worship in Orange Field. The worship team is ready to come and to lead us into worship as we begin tonight. Let's give God the glory and the honor and the praise. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Let the worship begin. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, raise your voice. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout the highest praise. Somebody shout the highest praise. Hallelujah. Somebody shout. In the square of the Orange Town community, we put the enemy on notice tonight. Hallelujah! Did anybody come on business for Jesus? Can I get a little bit undignified tonight? Can I get a little bit unorthodox tonight? I know we didn't come for a show. I know we have a program. But permit me. Because it says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And if I have two, and if I have three, then God is in the midst to bless. We want souls to be saved. It is open heaven. Lift up your worship and set the atmosphere tonight. Set the atmosphere tonight. We want it to be charged. Hallelujah. We want it to be right. Hallelujah. We want God to move. God. Hallelujah. We want the Holy Spirit to operate tonight. It's not by might. It's not by power. But by the Spirit. Says the Lord. So can some spirit filled believers walk around this territory and raise up a voice. Raise up your voice, clap your hands, all ye people, shout out to God with a voice of triumph. This is holy ground, this is holy ground, this is holy ground. Saturate this place, saturate this place. Move how you want to move, heal how you want to heal, touch who you want to touch. Move God. Open heaven. Open heaven. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. That even if we don't sing a song tonight, you are here. You are here. 
on this part of ground hallelujah Jesus every tired soul every tired body we put it before you tonight and we say empower your people because we are mission fear we came on business for the king musicians worship in this place sound team worship in this place ushers worship intercessors worship hallelujah ah god ah jesus altar workers worship light builders worship ladies ministry worship teenagers worship young people worship raise a sound lift up a sound set the atmosphere we came on business backsliders must come home tonight Warmongers must come home tonight. Save a gunman. Save a murderer. Save them, Jesus. Save them from the gambling house. Save them, Jesus. Wherever they are. Save them. Save the wayward husband. Save the wayward wife. Save some wayward son. Ah, oh, God, I don't know who is here to help me. But Jesus, we come on business. We come to mash up the enemy's kingdom. God, every stronghold, every principality, every power, mighty God. We came on business tonight. We came on business. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are here. You are here. And you're working. You're moving. You're healing. And so we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. You are here. Moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You. you are here, turning lives up. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. Yeah. 
Jesus, you are all. You are all I make, I make room for you and I. Jesus, you are all. Jesus, you are all. Oh, you are all. Oh, you are all. Oh, Go! 
church to come and she will do our opening prayer followed by the scripture reading which will be done by Minister Denzel Chung in that order. different occasions but we're here I know Orange Field that you are in your homes yes. amen you are in your homes I see you congregating at your ent road entrance but, but please come on up the fire is hotter here than you stand in your road area amen so join with me in prayer Heavenly Father we thank you tonight what an awesome God you are. The God who knows how to do it, when to do it, and whom to do it to. We thank you that you have allowed the rain to fall earlier just to cool down the place enough for us. Mighty God, we come here, Lord, under this canopy. We know that you have directed us to be here this time. And so we ask God that you will cover us in the name of Jesus. And that you will destroy every strong man in this community. Every strong woman in this community. We come to declare war against the enemy of our soul. Hallelujah. We come to declare to the devil that he is a loser. 
It seems as if he is winning. But he is a loser because the battle has already been won. Our Lord Jesus was crucified. And you thought that was the end of him. But three days was coming. The third day came. And oh how he rose triumphantly from the dark domain to set man free to deliver them. And tonight we have traveled from various parts of Jamaica to come to Orangeville and declaring deliverance for Orangeville people. Deliverance for the stony hearts. Oh God. Deliverance for those who are held captive by the enemy. Deliverance for those who are bound in wickedness. We pray that Holy Spirit of God, you will curfew this place. You will bind up this strong man. Hallelujah. And you will <coughs> deliver the people of Orangefield, of Nutshell of Jericho, oh God, of Benlas, Lord of the house, in the name of Jesus, deliver those from Stevenson land, hallelujah, Holy Spirit go through and through, and release the people of the people of these communities, that they will come and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Victory in the name of Jesus. We declare victory in the name of Jesus. We're not defeated, hallelujah, but we are victorious tonight. As we come, we pray for the one who will be bringing forth the word. Holy Spirit, guide that word. Allow it to go deep to the very soul and marrow of God of those who will be hearing. Do that work that we are not able to do. We have come. We have invited the community. We leave it all in your hands, the Holy Spirit. And we declare deliverance and victory. So bless every aspect of our meeting tonight. Every person who will be coming up here holding a mic to do something in honor of your name. I pray special blessing and covering in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand here to declare Jesus Christ. We are here to preach Jesus Christ to this, these communities. And we tell God thanks. Everybody say thank you Lord. Thank you, God, for souls that are going to be delivered. For souls that are going to be set free. For souls that are going to say yes to Jesus and no to the enemy who has held them captive for so many years. We ask, mighty God, that you will break up everything in this community that does not lift you up. Every altar that is set up in these communities, we come tonight to tear it down in the name of Jesus. For until they are torn down, no man will not be delivered. So under the unction and the authority and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we declare that every altar set up by man be torn down tonight and we claim the victory in Jesus mighty name amen and amen come on blessed people of the most high God begin to give God thanks come on now worship the king of kings and the lord of lords the God who was and is and is to come, the one who will deliver. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
The scripture comes to us from Romans 1, verses 1 to 7. And I'm reading from the King James Version. And it reads, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scripture, concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom are ye also called of Jesus Christ to be to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Here endeth a portion of God's holy word and we honor it by saying thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Shout the name of Jesus in this place. Are you tired of calling the name of Jesus? Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Let me just greet the Spirit of God who is evident in our midst. We know He's here. Can you give it up for the Holy Spirit? He is evident in our midst, He's in this place. We want to give honor to that Spirit this, this tonight. Also, let me extend greetings to the district overseer for the Linstead District of Churches, Reverend Jephthah Reed and First Lady Reed, and all the members who are supporting him from the Linstead District of Churches. Let me also extend welcome to Reverend Marcia Buchanan, host pastor of the Orange Field New Testament Church of God, and Brother Buchanan. Let's give it up for them and the members of the Orangefield New Testament Church. We give God thanks for them for opening up their space, welcoming us and allowing us to be a part of the community and a part of their church tonight. Let us just give God worship and praise for them. Let me extend welcome to our bishop and pastor, Reverend Leslie Pinnock of Escarpment Road, New Testament Church of God. Make some noise for our pastor. Give it up for Rev Reverend Leslie Pinnock and First Lady Lorreen Pinnock and the boys. I also want to extend welcome to Reverend Hunter and family, Reverend Denzel, who just read the scripture. All our visiting friends, our members from 3B Escarpment Road. Let me hear some 3B noise. Let me hear some 3B sounds. But let me check in. Is there anybody from Orange Field in our midst who want to load up the name of Jesus and make some noise? Do we have some Orange Field brethren? Hallelujah. Let me hear you shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I welcome you in your hometown. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, and all the other members of Escarpment Road, New Testament Church of God, our men, I believe they are under the bus shed. I was coming up this evening and I saw a group of them, they were coming from the football field, I suppose, and I asked them if they want to join us tonight, if they will join us, and they say yes, they are going to join us, and while I was over there, I saw a bunch of them sitting under the bus shed. I want to extend welcome if you're still there and those who are in their shops, those who are in their homes, we welcome you. We welcome you to this service. We know you might not be on the outside, but you're inside listening. I trust that the word of God will reach your hearts tonight. I trust that you will stay even in your homes and come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior after the delivery of the word let me just greet all of you i trust that all our children 
every single one of you, I trust that all feel welcome. Blessings, welcome, welcome, welcome. At this time, we are going to invite the sanctuary choir to come and they will be ministering to us. Fields of soul. Give it up for our choir. This is our A1 choir. Give it up for Escarpment Road, New Testament Church of God, Sanctuary Choir. Do you have a praise for the Lord this evening? Come on, man, lift up the name of the Lord. Come on, man, somebody just lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of the Lord this evening comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and it says, verse 20, We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, and we are therefore Christ as ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be you reconciled to God. Verse 21, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And so tonight we are here as ambassadors for Christ, amen? And we're going to work the field of souls because we want people to come and know that Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Amen. Come on, man, worship with us tonight as we sing Feel of Souls. Hallelujah. Together you and I 
Give it up. Give it up for our sanctuary choir. Give it up for our choir. We will work the fields of souls together, you and I. Some fields are blooming now. Other fields are dry. But we will work the fields of souls together, you and I. At this time, thank you, sanctuary choir, for that ministry. At this time, we are going to invite our speaker for tonight. Our speaker is a vibrant, young at heart, probably a little older in age, young man who loves the Lord, who is excited about the Lord, who shepherds the 3 B Escarpment Road Church, or a pastor who is the husband of one wife, two boys, and a whole lot of people behind him who love him and support him and want to see him win tonight is the one that will share the word of God here in Orange Field. I trust that lives will be transformed. I trust that lives will be changed. I trust that lives will not be the same under the unction of the Holy Spirit. I'm inviting him to come and deliver as the Lord would have laid on his heart. Give it up for our pastor. He will finish, do the sermon, and finish for the rest of the night. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, somebody, give the Lord a praise. Come on, somebody, raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Where are the worshipers? Come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me. Come on, sing heaven comes to fight for me. I raise a hallelujah. It, My weapon is a melody. Oh, yeah, yeah. I raise a hallelujah. Hell, you've lost your hold on me. I'm gonna 
gonna sing, uh, sing, I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm, louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar, up from the ashes, hope will arise, death is defeated, the king is alive, sing a little, sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Thank you. Let me greet you tonight in the name of the Lord. I want to say thanks to the team. Tonight we want to give God glory and honor and praise for the opportunity that we have to be here in Orange Field with you. I want to greet tonight uh, the district overseer for the Linstead uh, District of Churches, uh, Bishop Jeff De Reed and Lady Reed. I want to greet Reverend Buchanan and Brother, B Brother Buchanan. I want to greet all of uh, the council members from all the churches. Uh, I want to greet my 3B family. It's so good to have you uh, on spot as we do ministry for the Lord. But more than anything else, uh, we want to greet uh, Orange Field. Come on, give the Lord a praise for Orange Field tonight. Hallelujah. I want to share a thought with you. Uh, tonight and that thought is entitled called to be saints called to be saints and I want to share from the portion of scripture that was shared earlier that was read earlier in Romans chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 7 and I want to focus on one portion of scripture from that portion of scripture would you just pause with me as we pray to our God, Father, in Jesus' name, we bow before your throne. You are the king of all the ages. No one is like unto you, Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You spoke and it stood still. Lord, God of heaven, you decreed a thing and it was so. It is against that background, Lord, that we stand in the square of Orange Field declaring the name of the Lord. That is a strong tower that the righteous can run in, the sinner can run in and find salvation in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that your word will go forth tonight clearly and boldly and that your name will be glorified as we lift you up and give you praise in this place and we say amen and amen and amen called to be saints called to be saints you know one of the things that i'm conscious of is that there are many factors that contributes to people's worldview. There are many factors that contribute to people's worldview, people's way of life, people's way of thinking. And I want to declare tonight that everybody has a worldview out of which they function. Everybody have a belief system that them work out of. Every man have a belief system, a worldview system. Every woman has one. Every family has one. Everybody functions out of a worldview. And you see those worldviews are developed by differing factors. Sometimes those worldviews are developed from our family background. So depending on the family that we come from, we have a worldview. Sometimes it's not just the family, 
but it is the teaching that we receive. And the teachings that we receive kind of declare or help us to decide how we must behave. So when you see some youth that behave some ways, it's not simply because they want to behave like that. It is because they have been taught to behave like that. The community that we live in sometimes also inform our worldview. So you have some youth about the place and some girls about the place and some man about the place who function in a particular way and they do so out of a worldview from a community standpoint. Some of them, them go a university and some of them go a high school and community college and out of their educational uh, acumen, what they've done is that they develop a kind of worldview. So them think a certain way because they would have sat before professors who would have taught them certain things. But not just that. Uh, some people have a particular kind of worldview, Rev, uh, because of the music that them listen to. So you have some youth uh, who only listen to some song uh, where tell them say dirt a uh, dirt. Uh, and so them have a mindset and a worldview uh, that dirt a uh, dirt. Uh, some youth function out of a mindset uh, that them can't have one girl uh, because they listen to songs uh, that tells them uh, that they should have many girls uh, and girls in a bungle. You have some youth uh, and some girls uh, who are listening to some songs uh, that tells them uh, that their body is an asset uh, and they can make money with it uh, and so they function or form that worldview. Some people function out of a worldview that tells them that they can do anything they want. You see, the people we admire also help to form our worldview. So you have some people who them think that politicians are the world and anything that the political representative says then it is law and out of that they form a worldview the passage before us tonight is a passage that <coughs> sorry that we can declare is like a worldview passage yeah, man. It is Paul who is talking about a worldview. When you read the passage, listen to what the passage says in verse 5 of the text. Through him, we receive grace and apostleship to call all the Gentiles to the obedience that comes from faith for his name sake. Romans chapter 5. You see, ultimately the book of Romans is about worldview. It is one of those books that is very doctrinal in nature. It talks about doctrines and all of those things. But when you read the text, the text kind of gives us some important truths that can help us to form a solid worldview. You see, I've come to learn that is not every worldview you must function out of. Lord God, we have a witness in this place. I've come to find out, say, I know every worldview, a worldview. Some worldview must be thrown away. Some worldview must be done away with. Some worldview must be flushed down the toilet. Some worldview must, we must light fire and burn it up. Lord God Almighty, watch the text. In the text today, Paul does two things. What Paul does is Paul introduces himself. Paul introduces himself. Listen to Paul in the text. Paul introduces the fact that he is an apostle who is called by God. That's what Paul does. He introduces the fact that he is an apostle who was called by God. I want to be clear tonight in Orangeville that 
God is calling some people. That God is calling some people tonight. What it takes. You see, Paul makes two powerful statements. Paul declares that he is an apostle. But he's not an apostle of himself or by himself. He is an apostle who was called by God. Now, it's important to kind of understand who Paul is or who Paul was before Paul became an apostle. You see, Paul, like so many of us, had a worldview. You see, Paul was a guy who was an intellectual. Paul was a guy who was a murderer. Paul was a guy who was a religious folk. Paul was a guy who had clout and friends. Paul was a guy who was respected in the community. Paul was a youth who when people see him and him drive up in him Prado, Lord God Almighty, the youth them from round the road, run, come, come check him because Paul had influence in his community. But guess what? One of the days when Paul had drive round for coming out of the community in him Prado, Lord, then he was Saul, the Lord God of heaven met him on the Damascus road. Lord God can I talk to somebody in this place? I believe God has come has sent the church out to the square this evening to meet a Paul to meet a Saul and to turn him into a Paul. I believe God has sent the church from all the way in Kingston to partner with the church in orange field to transform a soul into an apostle who will go down the road down a Uatan, down a Jericho down a orange field and preach the set the Lord the text tells us that the same Paul who was Saul when he was met by God something happened how many of you know that when Paul when Saul meets God Saul is no match for God Lord God, you have some youth about the place who think say, them a bull buck and up in Kankara. You have some girls about the place who feel like say, at them roll thunder about here. You have some guys who think say, at them alone can lack community. But I want to talk to somebody around here. I want to talk to a soul. Somebody who feels like you can real thunder down here. There is a God. There is a God in heaven where when man come face to face with him, man of him bow and salute him because this God, he is God all by himself. Him no need nobody to be God. Him no need no rum to feel nice. Him no need no wet, no, no weed to get wisdom. Lord God Almighty. Him no need money to get influence. Him no need friends to get clout. This God that that we are talking about he is the ancients of days Lord God I wish I had somebody in here who had an encounter with this God that we're talking about Lord God one man get an encounter with him and him start singing now nah, get the youth of yoga mad over me see down a worry I'm mad over me say you ate a mash up I'm mad over me say you nah get my oh me say you nah get the youth of yoga mad over me see down a worry I'm mad over me say you ate a mash up I'm hold it hold it hold it Hold it, hold it. Him say me heart pain, me office see me use cartel. Make him feel like him at a than the fire where as scotch hell. Now them lock him up in a cell. And you want that for me, G, you must say. The devil wrapped and me lead him at me heart. I shout demon, demon, I put the triple six in now. My soul too precious for God, hell, we now get that youth, I go. 
No, me say you sit down and worry, I'm mad. Me say you to mash up, I'm mad. Me say you can't get my... Hey, hold it. Hey, when, when man come face to face with God, Bishop, when man confront God, when God confront man, man of his sit down and hold them space. When God confront man, man of your understand, say God a God, a man a man. Lord God, Saul was high and mighty, but one encounter with God, he fell to the ground. His eyes were blinded. Lord God, and one little old man, one little old man who them never read. One little old man who them did a come to come persecute. One little old man whom them did a come to come talk some things about. Jesus sent a word for him and said, Saul, don't so. Lord God, and him blind. Lay your hands on him. Something is going to happen. Lord God, say God Almighty, and I has grown. Lay your hands on him. And Saul receives sight. And all of a sudden, Saul turned Paul. Hear me, my youth. You think, say, you are the biggest thing about you. Are you want me, Jesus? And then you see what I'm. You think, say, you have things together yet, my girl. Wait till you come face to face with Jesus. You will find out that things are different. Hey, look about the place and see them nice girl yeah. and them nice youth. Yeah. Hey, a Jesus make me. Jesus make me. Jesus make me. Lord God, and him teach me how to walk again. Yeah, Jesus make me. Oh, Jesus make me. Hey, Jesus make me laugh again and teach me how to yeah. We go so, oh, oh Lord, you're the only one. That's why me holding on so long. Hey, hey, hey. Every time I play my life to my friends, them listen, but them never learn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, you're the only one. That's why. And me say, hey, hey, hey. Every time I play my life to my friends, them listen, but them never learn the song. Yeah. My life is like a future, and my future's like a dream. Me dropping at the middle somewhere in me. Me say, me flesh rise up and does what? Me have to ask guy to keep me out. More time, me tell a friend a small problem. Then round the road, me gang go hear it back. Me not talk about the secret, me have to, me have to wonder if some of them are my friends, so me go so no. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Me say, Paul, Saul meet Paul. And the moment Saul, the moment Saul meet God, in life change. And hey, you know how much we are the gangster, and we meet God. And we start preach gospel. You know how much we are did our manga. And we meet God and we life change. You know how much we are did thief. And we meet God and we life change. You know how much we are did pimp. And we meet God and we life change. You know how much we did do road. We don't go on like on the road. We don't even understand nothing about the road yet. We don't want to come sit down and make man tell you about the road. We don't want to lock city. We don't want to sit down and some man we know how to lock the city. God Almighty, I make them tell you about lock the city. Uncle Jesus can lock the city. Because when you lock it, Jesus can pull it. But when Jesus lock it, you can't touch it. God Almighty, and when Jesus opened it, you can't lock it. And we are declared tonight in a Jesus name. So we are who up my orange field. And no man can lock it back in our Jesus name. We command a spiritual curfew about this place in Jesus name. Every youth, every girl, every 
anybody who is under the strong man of the enemy who has sought to lock the city we put you under subjection tonight in the name of Jesus we call for it oh God almighty a holy curfew I say mothers must stop crying for them sons down here mothers and fathers must stop crying for their daughters in the name of Jesus Paul says, I am an apostle that was called by God. I'm here to tell us that God in the city tonight. And God has called some youth. Hey, God, they're on the ends tonight. And God won't reason with a youth. God, they're on the ends tonight. And God won't you fear what I say. Because he wants you to know that it does not matter how high your sins are how wide they are how difficult they are he is God he can cleanse and make you all he can wash them away and tonight your life can change in Jesus name but what it takes what it takes it's not just that Paul talks about the fact that God calls him to be an apostle the fact that he's an apostle it means that God calls him to do a job let me say it another way you see God called him for a purpose Lord God I want to talk to some youth about the place I want to talk to some young people about the place right you see, God has a purpose for every youth about the place. God has a plan for every youth. Because when God Almighty formed you in your mother's womb, it was not an accident. God had a plan for your life. So what it takes? The text says, that God calls Paul to be an apostle but this apostleship that he has given to him is not to go and talk about himself this apostleship that he gave to him was for him to go about and to preach Jesus and to preach him crucified and to preach him buried and to preach him raised from the dead and to preach him ascended into heaven and to preach him coming back again this apostleship is to preach that there is only one way so hear this let me talk about this gospel that Paul talks about and close let me talk about the gospel and close you see God calls people God called people out of Rumbar. God called people out of Horos. God called people out of them bed. God called people in their sleep. God called people in their house. God called people with their man. God called people with their woman. God will call you anywhere you are. It no matter what you're doing. God will call you and when he gets ready to move you've got to move and if you don't want to move God will drop some things just so you move so here Paul Paul says that this gospel is the gospel of Jesus Christ what's the irony when Paul was on his way, Orangeville, on the Damascus Road, he's persecuting, he's persecuting Christians, you know. Hey, he's killing, he's killing them because he had a worldview that he was functioning out of. But one encounter with him, with God, caused Paul to start singing, I am not ashamed of the gospel the gospel of Jesus Christ I am not afraid to be counted see I'm ready to give my life see I'm ready to be all 
that he wants me to be I'll give up the wrong for the right I believe God is calling some people from Orange Field tonight and he's saying to you you must be ready to give up the wrong for the right and not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ let me start here sir you have some people who say thief their church are true some of we up here thief you have some people who say liar their church are true liar their church you have some people who say some people have commit fornication up a church are true so make me tell you you don't have to tell me Jesus have mercy you have some people who have all kind of things to talk about church are true but that does not mean that Jesus don't still save. It don't mean that Jesus now nah still call you. It don't mean that righteousness still exalts a nation. And sin is still a reproach to any people. It no matter where you hear about a church. Or where you experience a church. We not call you to no church. We are call you to relationship with Jesus Christ. We not call you to no membership. We are call you to a personal experience. With the man who brings change and transformation. For any man in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are made new. We're not invited to no pastor. We're not invited to prayer ministry. We're not invited to choir members. We are inviting you to have a relationship with the one who was pierced, Lord, wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The one whom the justice meant of our peace was upon him, and by his tribes. Lord God, Lord God Almighty, we send out a spiritual curfew across Orange Field tonight. And we declare in the name of Jesus, the blood still prevails. The blood of the risen Lamb, it still has power to save. Just like in all the days, we declare that somebody's hearing now. And the Holy Spirit is speaking into your spirit. And it is time for you to let go of that and come in at this come out of that yaba she the own dose listen to what Paul preached Paul did not preach that seven day Adventist is the right way I'm going to mash up some things in Orange Field tonight. Paul did not preach that Pentecostals are the right ones. Paul did not preach that Church of God is the one. No, sir. Paul did not preach religion. Hear what Paul preached. Paul declared that God is God and that he always will be God. Paul preach that God is God and God always will be God John 1 verse 1 declares in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God and the same was in the beginning he jumps into verse 14 and said and the word became flesh and dwell amongst men Lord God Almighty hear me church he preached Jesus Christ he said, God are God. But he didn't stop there. He said, God make man. Lord and gave men, oh God Almighty, a responsibility. And the responsibility was to be obedient. He said, you can't eat from all the trees in the garden. But don't touch that one. It was a responsibility of obedience. What is destroying the nation today is a lack of obedience. Everybody want to do them one thing. But them not understand bishop that freedom without responsibility is anarchy and chaos I am free to drive on the road but there are responsibilities I must drive in the speed limit 
Lord God, come on now, somebody. Hey, there is freedom to have sex, but I must have it with somebody we're married to. God, God, can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to somebody? Lord God Almighty. Hey, God Almighty. Freedom comes with responsibility. And God created man. And God gave man responsibility. And it was a responsibility to be obedient. But can I tell you something? Man disobeyed God. Man felt like they should do anything they want to do. And man go and go do it. But guess what? They did not recognize that God is a God of his word. The word tells us that God said to them that the day you eat, you shall surely die. Lord God Almighty, we are struggling in this world today because of disobedience. But God is a loving God. God is a merciful God. God does not wish that any of us should perish. So you know what God did? God sent his only begotten son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. You have some people about the place. We are talking about them and believe in a God. Just hold on. You better beg God do not make your eyes close. And you don't know. One songwriter said before you die seek the Lord. Reach out and touch him now. Believe his word. Confess your sin to him. Eternity is nigh before you die seek the Lord but he didn't he's not just God uncreated man he sent his son and the son brought grace and this grace that he brings is a free gift it's a free gift the free gift that he has is not something that he wanted to pay for so if you find a pastor who I tell us he have to pay for it, tell him the blood of Jesus is against him. Lord God, if you find one church where I sell religion and I sell gospel, tell them you rebuke them in Jesus' name. The gospel is free. Lord God Almighty, the gospel is free. The gospel is free. Hey God, you know how to eat. You know how to come, come. The Bible says come and buy without money. Milk. The Bible said come you are thirsty. Come and drink. Those who are hungry, come and buy bread without money. It's free. It's free. We out here tonight and we are telling us the gospel free. No charge. But guess what? Paul says, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Because if somebody has given something, Sister Jackie, you have to decide if you want to take it. Or you have to decide if you don't want it. So here as we wrap this, it's prayer time in this place. Hear me, orange feel. Hear me. Don't just live on death, sir. If you just live on death, sir, your life would have been meaningless. Your life of purpose, orange feel. My youth, your life of purpose. Your life is not for you to bleach out your skin and try to look like a white man, my youth. If God created you dark, it means that you are wonderfully and fearfully created. Yeah, man, you know, see all, you know, see all those of us who dark nice. Look, man, we, we tall and we dark and we handsome. We don't need no bleaching cream. We nice. And them, they want natural browning. Them brown and nice, same way. Lord, and those who are in between, them nice same way. Lord God, and those who are Indians, 
and those who are tiny, them nice same way. Tonight, we're declaring to you that God is calling you to be a saint. He's calling you for a purpose. We're done preach. If there's a youth in the community, a young lady in the community, an elder in the community who can hear us now, and you believe, said the Lord, I talk to you. We're inviting you to walk down to an altar of prayer. Amen. Who want to pray with you? Who want to pray with you? We want you to know that we didn't come out here to entertain you. Because we're not entertainers. Manners and respect. Manners and respect. Jesus. Manners and respect, brother. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Manners and respect, brother. Manners and respect. Manners and respect. Manners and respect. Hallelujah. 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 Come, we are called some more, brother. We are called some sisters. And we are saying, hey, God, I call you. God have a different plan for you. We have said God have a plan for your life, my youth. At 20, I when me at 23 years old, me walk away from the world and say, yes, Jesus. And you have some of them young people here. From them little bit, them have served the Lord. From them little teeny weeny and a grow. And them now have no fault in Jesus. And you have some women about the place. And we have said, hey, you can serve Jesus too. And when you serve the Lord, He may going to make all things new. When I promise you, say, everything are going to be without troubles, troubles and trial. But we are declared to you, say, if Jesus take care of we and save we and change our life, Him can change and save your life as well. Anybody else I walk forward? We want to pray with some people tonight. We want to pray with some more people. Come on, one more minute. And we're going to pray. One more minute. One more minute. If you're in your house and you're here, walk over, man. Walk over. We want to pray for you. Manners and respect, General. Manners and respect. Hey. Hey, God call young men. Yeah, man. God call strong man. God call radical man. God call real man and God save real man and real man can serve Jesus too and be a declare to yourself holy for real man about the place and tonight God has come to save your soul anybody else have come anybody else have come down tonight come in my youth I see you come in come in don't hesitate, my youth. Come cross. Come cross, man. Don't hesitate, my youth. Don't hesitate. Manners and respect. Come cross. Come cross. We want us. We want to lift you up to the Lord. Yeah, man. Respect, my youth. Manners and respect, general. Manners and respect. Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Messiah, my friend, Messiah, Messiah, God bless you, Messiah. Come, we have some more people who want to pray for man. Come through, don't delay, man. Come, we're not force nobody for do nothing, and we just want to raise you up before the throne. Any decision we are making, you have to make the decision. Yeah, man, come through. We're going to pray now. We're going to pray. My youth, yeah, come, my youth. Your forward, General. It's prayer time. I more want some people for just come stand up around. Them people, them youth, yeah. Hallelujah. 
God bless you. Yeah, man. You want some people to stand up around them. And we're going to lift them up to the Lord. We're going to believe the Lord for them. The Bible says this, brothers, gentlemen, listen to me. Just for a moment. Everybody listen to me. The Bible says that the thief commit to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But guess what? God says that he has come, that we have life and have it more abundantly. My youth, God not make you for dead as a 20 year year old youth. No. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, God have planned for you, my youth. God have planned for you. I mean, nobody tell you no foolishness. Man get up early in the morning and man does a smoke rum. A smoke weed and boom. And does a mash up your life. My heart. You don't need no weed. You don't need no boom. You can make it. Man has a respect. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Everybody right now. Everybody who want to write as a focus. A prayer time. We want some more believers come stand up around. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah man, come on. Come on, we are storm hell right now. Because a war is going right as I know. Because the enemy are war for them youth your soul. The, war, the, the enemy are war for them, them ladies your soul. But we are declared tonight victory in Jesus name. Ah, we declare the blood of Jesus over them. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. There is only one name. With power. With power. With power. Everybody does sing the song. Everybody raise your hands and sing it. Come on, man. Come on. Just that. Just that. There is only one name singing. There is only. Come, church. Come, church. Make hell hear it. There is only one name with power to say. With power. With power. Sing our God is champion. Oh, our God. One more time, our God is champion. It's champion. it's champion. Yes, God, you reign, reign forevermore. Forevermore. Hear me now, Christians. We don't want a distraction. A prayer time. A warfare go on right or something. You have some man who walk come up here, sir. And them man here. Them man here fight for them life. You have some women up here, sir, and them fight for them life. The enemy want to take them out, but we are declaring Jesus' name. Say, no nah of them. We now nah bury them. They are going to live. And they are going to make a contribution in our community in Jesus' name. We bind the plans of the enemy in Jesus' name. We break the chains of darkness. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. You can't war and sit down. Everybody stand up. 
War. War. Hey. War. We are war for them soul. Holy Spirit, come down. Heaven open. Heaven open. Atmosphere. Shift now. Chains be broken. Break now. Holy Spirit. Heaven open. One more time, sing atmosphere. Chains be broken. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for you now. All I'm asking you to do, gentlemen, all I'm asking you to do is to just bow your heads with me. And all I'm asking you to do is to just believe. I'm not asking you to do nothing more. I'm not asking you to make no decision in I'm just want you to believe. On the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. That's all I want for you. Just believe. Believe same can save. Believe same can heal. Believe same can deliver. Believe same can make a way. Believe same can open a door and change things. Believe say him can run where some things out of town. Believe say him can mash down some situation. Just believe. That's all I want for you. I want for just believe. I want you to believe that God can come to your rescue tonight. That's all I want you to do. Just believe it. Let's pray. Father, we bow before your throne tonight. God, we are under an open heaven. And you saved us one day when we were sinners. Your word tells us in Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. That while we were yet sinners, you died for us, God. And God, you saved us one day when we heard this gospel message. And we believed and we confessed. And Lord, you saved us. But you did not just save us for ourselves. You saved us so that tonight, God, we could be in orange field. God, I preach the gospel through song. I preach the gospel through the spoken word. I preach the gospel, Lord God Almighty, through giving out tracts and giving out packages. God, you have sent us into the field. Here we are, Lord. God, these young men and young women have walked voluntarily to an altar of prayer. And God, only you can save them. Holy Spirit, we ask you now to do your work yourself. Do what we can do. God, go into their hearts. And we're asking you to cause them to sense, oh God, your presence now. Lord, cause them to hear your voice as you call them, Lord, out of sin. Oh God. God, we ask you to cause them, Lord God Almighty, to feel your presence near to them. And God, we ask you that as they feel your presence, give them the courage, Lord, to say yes. Give them the courage to let go off of the things that they've held on to, the worldviews that they would have believed, Lord, for way too long that would have allowed them to live in a particular way. Lord, we pray that you will help them. Give them the courage and the strength to say you can't get the youth here. Me and let go of that. And me are coming at this. God, we're calling them tonight. 
tonight not to religion we are calling them tonight not to church membership we are calling them to a personal relationship with you one where they will experience you for themselves God you've done it before you do it for me you do it for Jeff Reed. you do it for Jason Brown you do it for McKean Thomas Lord God Almighty you do it for Brother Buchanan you do it for the musicians God you do it for the worship team Lord you do it for men and women and boys and girls do it for them you up on the altar do it for these young women on the altar save to the atmos we mash down the lies of the enemy tonight we mash down the lies of the enemy tonight we bring down every lie in the name of Jesus I oh God and we say let God arise and the enemy be scattered tonight in orange field in Jesus name come on church clap your hands clap your hands for victory clap your hands for victory come on church clap your hands for victory clap your hands for victory Jesus hey hear me play it low hear me brothers hear me for one minute I'm going to let you go I'm going to release you I don't force people to do anything they don't want to do. I prayed and I believed the Lord that he would have spoken in your spirit because this salvation thing we are talking about is a faith thing. And I'm here to save you. No, nobody about us are save you. We have believed that there is a God who created the heaven and the earth and him I'm going to save you. That we believe. And on a mystery thing, and on a doppy thing, a God thing. And we're saying tonight, if you would have heard the word, and you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe He wants to save you, you believe that He has He's calling you tonight. Would you just walk up here so come stand up beside me? Any one of you? Hallelujah. 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 Anybody else? You feel said the Lord I call you. You feel say Lord I call you. Brothers, yeah, don't look for nobody else here. You and Jesus. Just you. You and Jesus. And me, I tell you, say, this is your life where you see we are live better than any other life. And we say that without apology. All respect you, you know. No, this no man, you see. Yeah, but we are said this is your life, you are the Christian life, are the best life you live. Yeah, man, a real, real life. None of the sisters, them no one, Jesus. I hear Jesus a call, you know. And you know, I want to say yes. Nobody else. Nobody else. Where you are, brother? Not ready yet. Not ready yet. You got to take your time. Come on. What about you, my sister? You not ready yet? All right. You not ready yet? You not ready? You ready? You not ready yet? You not ready yet? You not ready yet? You ready? Long time. So why you not come? Huh? You already saved. All right, bless you. All right, hear this now. You not ready yet? You not ready yet? No, there's something not going on in the heart, you know. No.
notice no 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 say oh no one jesus you know oh no just say oh no no ready yet no 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 say oh no no one jesus oh no just say oh no no ready hear me all respect you today is a day of salvation not tomorrow today today big man thing today all right respect here brother respect love and respect on the same way you know and we are prayerful on the same way here the strong you know and you see if you continue if you can hear the voice and say here manas your manas you know still i pray for you yeah love and appreciate you i hey, love and appreciate you yeah love and appreciate you love and appreciate you know god bless you know hey gentlemen where are say yeah real thing right hear me when i was 23 years old I walked out of the world and walked into a church and hear a preacher man preach like I'm a preach tonight and that the topic of the sermon was who a real man should be it was 1997 check how long that now and you said me come we never planned for do all of this you know yeah man we did this one we did this one God heaven yeah because me here the lock. No, you're right. Me never want God hell. Cause me never. Me afraid for God hell. And then one day, me kind of get in a personal relationship with Jesus. And yo, my life just changed. And you see some things that me used to pray, me done with them things there. And God changed my life. You see? And look what the Lord has done. And me I declare say, he might do that in your life tonight. Church, stretch your hands to these brothers. Listen, when you go to street meeting or crusade and five men stand up and say them, I go give them life to the Lord. They are rejoicing some that. Hey, and a small fry something, a big something that. Begin to pray for them. Come. Church, begin to pray for them. Begin to pray that the Lord God of heaven will keep them. Because guess what? The enemy down the road are we had upon them, you know. Enemy round the corner are we had upon them. Enemy up on the yard are we had upon them. The enemy amongst them friends are we had upon them. Just begin to pray for them. Pray say God seal 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 them. We rebuke the plans of the enemy over these brothers. And we declare that they are saved in Jesus' name. We declare that they have come to personal knowledge of Jesus. And we declare that their lives are going to be different. We're declaring that they're not going to be the same from tonight. We are declaring that everybody about here must know us them themselves. Must know us them different. When them look upon them, they must see something different about them. God! God! You change Nicodemus. You change Peter. You change Saul. Lord God Almighty, you are the God who changes men. Change them for your glory. Change them for your glory. Change them for your glory. We declare that their lives will never be the same again. So even now, God, we commit them to you. And we declare that they belong to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hey. We're closing now. We're closed now. Hey, brother. Manners and respect. Manners and respect. Manners and respect. Manners and respect. I have one request of you tonight. Just one. 
Play it low. One request. One request. Hold a second rev. I'm going to make a greet then. I have one request of you. Go on when you leave here tonight. Go on you to tell your virgin them say. Yo, I'm going to go down to church tonight and God save me. Can do that. Can do that. Can do that. Can do that. You can do that. Talk to poor your virgin and say, No, I said tonight, me sit down and hear the gospel preach about how God chained Saul, a murderer, to an apostle and him start preach the gospel about God and how God make man and how man sin and how he sent his son named Jesus. How we died on the cross and bring grace, and we make a decision. Say tonight, I'm going to serve the Lord from tonight on. Amen. She, at the pastor for the church down at the New Testament church down the road, a Spanish town lay in it name, don't right down there, so New Testament church of God, Bishop Jeff Tarid, and in my district overseer for the churches in my area. Yeah. Hear me. Me tell you how radical me is. You see, if you don't feel so, don't want to go to your church. Go to one Bible believing church. Because we don't preach church. We preach Jesus. It's all me I tell you. Yes, when you go to a fear church, you're going to hear gospel preach. And you're going to find people down there who love and respect you and appreciate you. Some of them rough and coarse, you know, but they still love and appreciate you. You see? And them are going to take care of you. That's why I'm saying you down there. Because I don't know about the other church there. But we are saying, when I preach church, we preach Jesus. Manners and respect. God bless you. Yeah? Yeah, man. Brother, just, just, just talk to her for a little bit. Bishop, come close off, Bishop. Close off and pray for me as we go on. Somebody rejoice in the house tonight. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands under the canopy of the heavens right here in Orangeville for what Jesus has done. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Tonight you have heard that Jesus loves you. Tonight you have heard that he is the only way. And he's the only one that can change you tonight. And so therefore you are not following anybody. But you are following Jesus Christ. I certainly want to on behalf of the district of Linstead. To say thanks to Bishop Pinnock. Lady Pinnock and all of you, my brothers and sisters. Can I say the pilgrims from 3B? Can I say my brothers and sisters from 3B? From wherever you have come from 3B and elsewhere. You are here tonight because God sent you into this community. You are the answer to prayers. You would never know how long we have been praying and believing God. That something good will happen through an evangelistic effort like this one. We on the Lindsay District, we have declared that no church leave behind. And Orange Field, Orange Field needed this injection. And I believe that something has been in the pipeline that God didn't even reveal to us. But he revealed to you at 3B and send you tonight to be the light in this lighthouse. God bless you, Tree B. God bless you, Bishop Pinnock and pilgrims from Tree B. You have made a solid investment 
in the kingdom of Almighty God. You have caused this community to hear the gospel one more time. And can I tell you that whatever has happened today and tonight has been recorded in the portals of glory. That this day, the 26th day of November in the year 2023, your investment have started to bear fruit in this community. Clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Sister Reed to come here with me. And we are going to pray. We are sending you back. We know the enemy doesn't like what happened here tonight. I know he's gone back to camp now to plan. But we are going to defeat the plans of the adversary. We are going to break up every boardroom conversation that is taking place in the portals of hell now. In the abyss of hell, we're going to mash it up. And we're going to send you home under the guidance of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You are going home fully protected by the hand of Almighty God. Let us pray. Jehovah, we bow before you just now. We commit your children to you. God, we know that when we go in your name, we are covered comprehensively. And so they go back now to Kingston. Yes, Lord. We are also aware that every time something good happens, the enemy. But we know that in your name, we are more than conquerors. So every vehicle, Jehovah, we ask that you take your seat now. And Lord God, from back to front, steering every wheel we ask Holy Spirit that you will direct and cover every person here just now and go with them because victory belongs to the children of God and Lord we know that your word says anywhere they are you will be with them so as they turn today we ask that you pour back into them in every way. Also, Lord God, the resources that they have used up, invested in this mission, we ask that you refill and not only just refill, but God overflow. And Lord, that they will do more than they are even expecting of themselves. Divine coverage. We pray for the Pinox family, the leadership of this ministry. Almighty God, sit on them. Coverage in the name of Jesus. We ask, Father, that no evil, no weapon, no arm will ever come nigh against none of your children. Lord, and those who have surrendered, we pray that the Holy Spirit will nudge them always. So that they will remember that they have sealed their seals. Oh God, in your arms, bless your people now. And we continue to give honor to you. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. And the people of God say. And the people of God say. And the people of God say. Praise God, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. I know that you're going back a mighty long way, but you're going back satisfied that you have accomplished a task that Jesus Christ has commissioned you to do. Go into all the world and preach. That's what you have done. You have taught, you have preached, you have helped in so many different ways. And so, can I just ask you now to raise towards heaven? Oh, we say that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And the people of God say, Amen. The Lord bless you all, my brothers and sisters. And may the peace of God rest upon you. Pastor Buchanan. Escarpment Road, brothers and sisters. Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters. 
from my heart. It has been tremendous having you all day. I know you'd have left your home, some of you from 8 o'clock to be here with us. I thank you very, very much. No, Bishop, I have something for them. Yes. I thank you very much. I love your energy. I love your vibes. I love your fire. Hey, and listen me. Brother Buchanan and myself, we are going to come to Escarpment Road to, as a surprise. You just let's see we turn up. <laughs> Bless you all. Orangefield brethren, thank you so much for coming up. I know this is a long day for you, but it is a day that you never, never forget and the blessings that it comes with. May the Lord guide you home and protect you as Bishop Reed has said. God bless you.